Hi, Dana. Hey, how are you, David? Hey, hey, hey. I am very well. How are you? Good. Great to speak to you again. Yeah, it's been a couple of months. We talked right yes. before COVID. Right. How are you guys? Everyone good? Everything good? Yeah, I've been, I live in a bubble, David. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one. I mean, I'm in a busy city, but I, I'm in a bubble myself. And that's why, you know, I, I mean, that's one reason why I build online because I'm just, I'm in my own bubble. And with the internet, I can leverage, you know, exposure and build an audience and build a business. Right. Cause yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a bubble as well. So I hear you loud and clear. Yeah, we've still been out there. It changed some of the lending stuff. Um, and But yeah, we have more. The only thing that's really changed, my town is primarily military. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. they still don't have their orders. You're in San Diego, right? Yes. Yep. So you understand. Oh, so yeah. They, they still haven't had their orders. So we don't have as many. Um, we have as many people moving in. We still have a hundred people a day moving in, but we don't have inventory for them. So, wow. yeah, because we don't have military moving out. But um, wow. yeah, so you just work a lot harder. That's all. Is that what you do? So, I mean, <laughs> obviously, like I would think your 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 branding and just your overall just presence would still need to be, you know, out there. Oh, very much. Right? Very like, much. people mm -hmm. still need to know who you are and stay top of mind. Right. But yeah, so people are moving in and obviously renting and no one's moving out. No, no. And I, um, I'll i have, well, I was scheduled to have eight showings this, I mean, um, eight closings this month. But Man, that's a lot. I, yeah, so I've, I told you I've stayed busy. Um, but two of them fell through, one because of financing. And mm -hmm. one, this is just not a market for people who have to sleep on things. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> it, right? It's not, you know. And so they're just the pressure of all that and the fast-paced deadlines and stuff. So that's okay. So I ended up with six, you know. Good job. Um, so and we'll keep pressing on. But one thing I'm really, all of that to say, I'm buyer heavy. So out of those six, only one of them's a listing. Mm -hmm, the rest mm -hmm. are buyers. And they're all under 300,000 when our average first time home is, it just came out 398.9. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So 400,000. So needless to say, we have all these people competing for these lower priced homes. So on average, anyone be below 300,000 below 350. I'm writing about eight offers on. Wow. And so, um, and I know that sounds like a good price probably compared to San Diego, but oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, but um, anyway, I would just, I really, I am very good at listings. My last good. point that I have bought and sold so many homes, um, being in the military, hands down, mm -hmm. your best agent I've had. So mm -hmm. they even gave me a Google review and stuff. But um, I'd like to really focus on landing pages mm -hmm. where I can capture, because you know, uh, real estate hat still teaches door knock, newsletters. Well, I tried that. Yep. Three hundred dollars a month. Guess how mm -hmm. many seller leads I got? Two. None. None. Wow. Wow. Like I would have thought. Wow. I would have thought two leads, but none as far as listings. But um, yeah. Yeah, and even my own. I sell to my own neighbors because I was doing my own. The one listing I had was just because I was their neighbor. The other three buyers is because I brought them to my own neighborhood. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, thank you. I can, I, you can be my neighbor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, anyway, awesome. but yeah, so I really haven't, um, it, even my own buyers who live in the neighborhood, I'm yeah. like, so what'd you think of my postcards? They're like, Oh, I don't know. I didn't see it. And so they just oh, track, man. even though they might offer free coffee or they yep. just, and I trash stuff, David. I trash it. So right. um, I, I get it. But long story short, I don't think that's getting me for the money. I'm not getting anything. So I'd like to learn a little bit more about I'm tech, tech lexic. I, mm -hmm, I don't mm -hmm. know if you remember that at all. Yeah. So I'm, I am needing someone who could 
do these for me. So I logged 144 hours last, I mean, 114 hours last week. Wow. So, yeah. And that's my You're average. You're working your week. butt off. Yeah. So this, so having time to learn how to do landing pages and stuff, mm -hmm. I, I need someone who can help me. So I thought, well, I'm going to reach out to David and see if that's You're awesome. talked about. We talked about landing pages, but we never talked about if that's something you do. So there yes. you go. that's my long spill. And now is your time. Sorry, I talked so yeah, much. No, no, you're fine. I appreciate it. I, I love hearing what you're up to. That's really, really good. And, and it, it, it's really about, as I don't know if I really, really fully touched on this on our first call, like our, our very, very first call, but that's kind of where I found my niche as far as every realtor out there is looking for that next buyer and seller or, you know, yeah, buyer or seller, but it's the basics that people miss. And so we think we need a landing page, but at the same time, it's really, it's really about knowing the Facebook ad side or whether you're running Facebook ads or running Instagram ads. It, it's really about the ad. The ad is, 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 is the top of the funnel. The landing page is pretty much the funnel. So okay. it does no good to, to just have a landing page if we're not driving traffic to it. And the, the only way you're going to be able to drive traffic is by running ads. Right. So I spoke to a, a realtor out of where she is. She's in Tennessee yesterday and she's spending 700 a month for a coach. And I said, do you understand that just a few hundred, if you spend a few hundred just on Facebook ads, you would have way more leads because she's sitting at, she's sitting at 700 a month for a coach, but no leads because the coach, you know, isn't, I don't know what the coach is coaching her on, but I don't think it's marketing. But today where we're at now, if you just took, if you just took a few hundred a month and started running Facebook ads consistently, that's when a landing page is necessary. So it's, it's a lot of times where we have it backwards. We think a landing page is all we need and we're going to take that link and share it all over social media and hopefully someone clicks on it. That's not going to work, especially, especially being a local business owner. You're farming just a handful of zip codes. Right. And so when it comes to social media, whether it's our business page, whether it's our personal page, whether it's any of these other platforms, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, whatever, as we start to scale these these followers and friends up, as Dana goes from a, a couple thousand friends on Facebook to a few thousand friends on Facebook, as you go from you know, 700 connections on LinkedIn to 7,000 connections on LinkedIn, 99% of all these people are going to live across the country. So that's not where our, where our ROI is at. Right. It's by running a Facebook ad and focusing on your local area. Right. That has to happen first. So we have to learn the Facebook ad side or we have to have someone run Facebook ads. That's first. And then, and then second is the landing page. So those are the only two tools. Those are the only two, you know, things you need, you need to either learn or have someone coach you on or, or have someone do Facebook ads, landing pages. So it's not, it's not one or the other. It's, it's actually both. Um, I guess I kind of thought they were the same thing. <laughs> so this will tell you how tech lexic I am. I guess I was considering a landing page as an ad, like you target 80907, 80906. Yes. With, and that's your ad. I yes. guess you would promote your, I don't know. That, anyway. That's your ad. No, you're, you're on the right track. That's your okay. ad. So you're running, like, for example, if we just come over here to Facebook and we're just scrolling through the news feed, this is where we see Facebook ads. So right. as we're just scrolling through, seeing what our friends are up to, seeing what everyone's posting, and then all of a sudden we come across a sponsored post. This is right. a Facebook ad. So this is step one, knowing how to run the Facebook ad or having someone run Facebook ads for you. But this, the secret is to run one every single week, which is week. technically every yeah. day. But, right. but to make it easy for you, what I, what I really recommend and, and teach is, is just simply running one video per week. So one video, one simple, like this right here, this is a, this is a less than one minute video. This is a 58 second video. And this guy, look at this. This guy could literally be, he's not an agent, but you can imagine that's an easy, that's a real estate agent walking through a listing right now. Or that's right. an agent doing a video on a home that is abandoned. 
or whatever. Like this is a simple, simple video. And so it, it doesn't get any more easier than this, than for, for someone to do a video like that, talking about an open house, talking about a listing, or maybe just giving advice on what they would do. Imagine if that was a home. And imagine if you were, let's say you're looking for listings. Imagine you doing one video per week and you're, you're in front of a house. Let's say you go in front of a, of a ran down house, just someone around the neighborhood or maybe someone in another neighborhood. And, and, and you go in front of a house, you know, without, you know, disrespecting them in any way. But imagine right. if you just went in front of a house and started giving advice without them, obviously without them knowing you're, you're you know, you're in front of their house or whatever. That'd be kind of weird if someone was just in front of someone's house and I look out the window and someone's recording my house. That'd be kind of weird. But you, you know what I'm saying as far as if you were just in a random neighborhood giving advice on what you would do or what you would consult or what you would recommend to the homeowner to increase the value. So if you go out to a house and you see the landscape ran down, or if you go to a house and the roof is maybe missing a sh some shingles, or if you go to a house and the exterior paint is, is a little ran down and Dana's just in front of the house, hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick one, one minute video on, on this property here. This is the type of stuff I consult my clients on. Let me give you some, a couple tips on what I would recommend my client do to this house before they decide to sell it. And so now Dana is just that educational type of agent where she's now given advice on tips and strategies that would increase a property's value if they decided to sell it. So does, is that better than a list say? Cause like I came up with yes. you know, like, a, like a things maybe they could click on that they could either print off or something like. No, 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 how? that that's going to be necessary. You, you mean like a PDF that they can download? Yeah. So like oh, heck how, yeah. Um, oh, how yeah. to do this goes the right way, what you should know about a realtor, realtor before you hire one. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. He, so, so here, follow me on this one. Okay. Here, here's step one is the Facebook ad. Okay, so again, this guy could easily be an agent talking about a listing. Simple okay. video on his cell phone. This is step one. When I click on learn more, so here's what you would be doing. And, and again, I'm telling you, Dana, you can do video as much as you may fear and may think you cannot. I know you can. First of all, this is a video that'd be going out to a market that doesn't even know you. These are not Facebook friends. These are not even people on your Facebook business page. So, so you'd be doing a video to a, bunch, to a cold audience of people that don't know you. Not everyone in your town knows you unless you're in a super tiny town. Are you in a super tiny town? Does everyone know you? No. Right? It, at all. So that's what I'm saying. There's nothing to fear. There's nothing to be nervous about. It's not like we're going to post this video on our personal page where our in-laws are going to see it or maybe our cousin or maybe my girlfriend and she's going to be talking about how my hair looks. No, like these are people that are going to be seeing this that don't know you, that literally live mm -hmm. down the street. So there's nothing to fear. But here's my point. Step one is the ad, is running this consistent ad, running a different one every week. So your job couldn't get easier. Instead of posting on all these platforms, your only job is to make one simple video per week. That is it. One video per week, which you run as a Facebook ad. That's step one. Here's step two, and here's, here's where the landing page comes in handy or, or is required. At the end of this video, one minute video, two minute video, whatever, at the end of the video, what you're offering is that PDF. Hey, and by the way, guys, I put together a 2020 seller guide that's going to give you the tips and tricks of what I recommend to my clients. Click learn more. It will take you straight to my page where you can download your free copy. See you guys there. See, so in this case with this guy, I know who this guy is. This guy, this guy just, he's a digital marketer. He just crushes it. But look at where he takes me. I, there's the Facebook video ad. I click on learn more and he's taking me to a landing page. So a landing page is a web page. There's nothing to click on but one purple button. And mm -hmm. so when I click on that one purple button, there's the lead capture. So in your gotcha. case, you'd be talking about tips and, and tricks on selling to attract that next listing. They click on learn more. They come to your landing page. So now we're on step two, Facebook ad, step one, landing page, step two. So this right here is a one page. Download your free step-by-step -step guide to selling your home fast. I'll walk you through the process and explain how we customize our plan to fit you. 
That person, there's only one button. They click on the yellow button. That's how you capture a lead. So now that lead is in a CRM. That lead is now receiving emails on your behalf. Hey, Dave, thank you so much for downloading my 2020 seller guide. This is Dana. Just wanted to introduce myself. In this seller guide, you're going to learn this, this, and this, and this, right? So everything you have down on your list, you're going to mention that in a brief email that automatically goes out the, it, the moment they click on that yellow button. And so here's what happens next. A link is in, that, is in that first email for them to download their free PDF. But the following day, they're gonna receive another email. Hey Dave, this is Dana, just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know yesterday you downloaded my free seller guide. Do you remember on page three, when I was talking about landscape and curb appeal? Here's what I meant by it. Hey, and by the way, Dave, if you'd like to jump on a call and really get all my secret strategies, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. Two days later, another automated email goes out. So now we're three emails down. Hey, Dave, just wanted to follow up. This is Dana. Hey, I know a few days ago you downloaded my seller guide. Do you remember on page nine when I was talking about the importance of renovating your kitchen and how much value that can bring to your price overall if you decide to sell? Here's what I meant by it. So that list that you have, that PDF, that free guide that you're thinking of giving out, all you're doing via email after they click that yellow button is breaking down different pages within that guide. That's your email. So, so now I'm getting email number four and email number four is telling me what's on page nine. Email number six is telling me what you got on page 11. And, and you're just briefly explaining that in the email, but here's the deal. In the video, the call to action was to click learn more. So you did a one minute video. At the yeah. end of that video, there was a call to action. Hey guys, and by the way, I just put together a list that's going to give you all these strategies that you're going to be able to implement should you decide to sell your house. Click learn more. So that's the call to action in the video. In the emails, your call to action is to get them to click your link to schedule a call. And so when you have a ton of people going through the funnel, you're waking up to appointments every day. But let me ask you. <laughs> yes. Is that something you set up? Because I will tell you. Dana, I literally do it all in my sleep. Okay. <laughs> I guess <laughs> yeah. if you want me to set that up, no. it will never happen. No, I, I, I have I, a hard time getting someone's name on the cards I send out. Right? Yes. No, I, this is exactly what I do. And this is what I wrote about in my book back in 2018, Five Simple Steps. So if you, if you remember, let's go back to, let's go back to your, pay, your personal page real quick. So here is step one. So in that book that I wrote, it's just an ebook back in 2018, this is step one, listing all of our links, branding, making sure that every link matches and that intro looks good, which George looks phenomenal. Step two was running a simple like ad and getting a comma in that number as fast as possible. Even though the likes may come from, from wherever, no one knows that. They look at 1,000 and they're like, dang, okay, she must be really crushing it. There's a comma in that number. Every agent has 200, she has 1,000. That's step two. Step three is now when we start running weekly video ads, targeting your local area and your local area only. So no more posting on all these platforms thinking someone's gonna comment. Forget about that. It comes down to one single video per week that we run as a weekly ad targeting that area. That's step three. Step four is when they click on learn more, they go to a landing page. That's step four. And then step five is email automation. Once I have that lead, my email autoresponder is going to nurture that list. Because if you're already putting in 100 plus hours a week, there's no way in hell you're emailing everyone. Not at all. We're going to have a handful of emails already preset, ready to go out. Okay. And, and, and so the whole goal is to have people in our funnel. So it started with the Facebook ad. It ended with the landing page. Now these leads are in our email autoresponder receiving emails daily on our behalf. And so when you're, when you're not only are you branding yourself daily, people keep seeing your face. Not only is that crazy effective, but you're also nurturing that list and building that rapport even more via email automation. 
So you're, you're, so there's many touch points. I'm touching them with my video. I'm touching them by giving them away something of value for free, which is your list. And then I'm also touching them daily via email automation. Mm -hmm. So these emails are going out. And again, the call to action in each email, we're not just emailing, we're, we're emailing to bring value. We're emailing to, to educate them even more on what they downloaded because right. just because they downloaded it today, a few people are not going to read it right away. Right. You know, maybe, maybe they download it and just, it, it just sits in their download folder and they don't get to right. it right away. So my email automation is going to keep reminding them. It's going to keep educating them on that seller guide. That's what we're kind of talking about in the emails. And we'll set up like 10, 15 emails that are preset, ready to go out every other day. Okay. So if you can have 15 emails lined up that are going out every other day. So for the next 30 days, these people are going to be touched. And, and when those leads can be people who literally live in my backyard, that's the game changer. Now, if these were right. leads that were all across the country, that's different. That's like, it's right. like, shit, I'm wasting my time now. But these are people that live in my backyard. They downloaded my seller guide for a reason. They may not be selling now. They might not be selling tomorrow, but there was an interest. There is an interest. There's no way in hell this person would download this if they were not even a homeowner. Right. Right. So, so because we're targeting that type of person, because we're consistent and that's what makes you stand out is the fact that, okay, there goes Dana again. Let's see right. what she's talking about now, you know, right. and, and, and because your content is now education based, not pitch based, it's education. You're educating me in 60 seconds and then you're offering me something of value for free. And that's the list. That's the PDF. Now, is that PDF something you already have that's canned or do I have to like? No, I have a ton of them. Like I have a ton of seller guides <laughs> that, that you can just mirror. Like I have a ton of them, like, cause I have a ton <laughs> of clients. So I have, you know, I have, I have like, I mean, I have not a, not a ton, but I mean a good amount, like a, a good handful of, of seller guides that I can easily send you. And you can kind of just look at all of them and read through all of them. And, and then, and then, um, I don't know if you're familiar with Fiverr. Are you familiar with Fiverr? Mm -mm. Okay, so I just have a, a, a random designer. We we could find a random designer on on this one specific website, which is very credible, where we could spend we could pay them like ten bucks, and they'll take the PDF and rebrand it to you. Oh, perfect. Yeah, because so, my my logo is very well. One, my logo is very distinctive, and everything I do has this orange stripe across mm -hmm. it. And this is big dog logo. So I like seeing consistent. Oh so yeah, for sure. Me. And then I also like, like this house. That's a very Colorado house, you know, oh, I love it. I love this house. This so amazing. And such a great crispy picture as well. That image is, a, is beautiful. Yeah. So just even getting very Colorado houses, cause a lot of stuff in stock, or even on my own company's website, I ended up having my own website built and that was right before you and I talked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was a waste of $2,000. But anyway. <laughs> For a website? Yeah. Oh, it's man. bigdogagent.com. So. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I paid because even my own companies is like got a lagoon out in front. I'm like, we're not, we're not in Arizona or right? California. Right. That's crazy. <laughs> Websites were like. 90s like websites as as the internet really took scale in 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 the late 90s early 2000s is when the internet really really took off websites is what every business owner needed but then but then as we got into the mid let's just say 2010 2015 now we're at 2020 it's a lead capture so it's not a website it's a web page yes that's it that's I, what we need now you know and that's, i wished it would generate more business um i will say it is nice at least i pay for the idx so my clients at least go there instead mm -hmm. of after realtor or zillow mm -hmm. and then have another agent's column so mm -hmm. in, in that case it, it serves its purpose you know mm -hmm. but for marketing when it comes down to lead capture it's not that website it's a web page yeah. it's when it comes to marketing it's very direct so it's, it's one message. That's why what you want to do is you want to, you want to, you want to pick one topic. Either we're going to go after buyers or we're going to go after sellers because this weekly video, it's not, we're not going to be talking about everything. Like we're not going to be talking about foreclosures, short sales, forbearance. Like we're not going to educate people on everything in real estate. We're going to educate people on one specific topic and that's selling. What right. does it take to sell? 
Thank you. That's, that's all I want. <laughs> right. That's it. That's, that's our one minute educational weekly video. That's it. It's focused on that audience. And, and, and again, getting them to click learn more and downloading your seller guide. Right. That's it. Like that's it. And that, that, that gives you leverage. Like that video would be running 24 seven while you're doing your own thing, while you're doing other things. And, and people are clicking on this while you're sleeping. People are receiving emails while you're out at lunch. Like that's leverage. You know, that takes away all the need of, of having a prospect. You're literally prospecting online via video automation. You mean door knocking? I don't have to do that. I'm just none of that. None of that. None of that. None of that. Yeah. No, none that, of that. It's, it's so funny. That's still what coaching and classes and stuff teach. I can't, that, that's what blows my mind. Like that's what blows my mind. Okay, that's what blows my mind. That that's st still being taught. Yeah. Coronavirus is still being taught. A single woman still being taught. I'm like, you people are crazy. Wow. If you think that's a single woman, I'm going to go knock on the door by myself. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. So it's, it's video marketing, Dana. It's, 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 but, but at the same time, because we're a local business owner, as I mentioned, it's narrow marketing, meaning I have to run a Facebook ad. That is my audience. It's only a handful of zip codes. I have to target them. That's, that's Facebook advertising. That's why Facebook advertising is, it's good for nationwide. It's good for any business, but, but 1000% a local business, whether you're an agent or a local dry cleaner, if you're trying to do anything on social media, it has to be a Facebook ad. Yeah. You know? Let me ask you this. So how, let, let's, because I, I get it and I know that's what I need. One, I know I can't, I, I can't do it. So I can only wear so many hats and mm -hmm. marketing. Um, I have good ideas. I just can't put feet to it. So, mm -hmm. and I think there's other people who have better ideas than me, but um, so let's talk, I guess, what does it cost? Like how much 200 or so a month, you know, or even more two to $300, let's say a month. Um, what does it cost to have you develop the landing pages? Give me maybe the ideas, um, do the emails, like set those up, like walk me through costs, how that works, etc. Pages, email automation, and your online calendar. That's the software. So that's what you're going to absolutely need. And I only, I, I tell people you only need a landing page if you're running Facebook ads. If you're not running Facebook ads, you don't need landing pages because again, it does no good to take a landing page and share it all over social media when the majority of our followers don't even live in the area. Mm -hmm. So, so if, if I'm not running target traffic, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, whatever, I don't need a landing page. I don't need a hundred bucks a month. So that's if you're running consistent Facebook ads, that's a whole, that's, that's its own separate, separate feed, a call to action in each email. And that call to action is to get them to click the link to schedule a call. Mm -hmm. So you have to have some type of calendar where they can just click rather than that person clicking reply. Hey, Dana. Okay. Like rather than them replying and trying to give you their phone number, just click the link and schedule a call. Right. Like it makes it super easy for everyone. Click the link right. and schedule your best time. And that, and that's the call to action in every email. So, <laughs> so landing pages, email autoresponder and your online calendar. That's okay. what I pay a hundred bucks a month for. Okay. What is this software? Is this like a, you it's know, it's just landing page iPad. software. Okay. Yeah. It's landing page software. I I'll send you a link for a 14 day trial. So if we ever get started with it, you know, we can, we can start with a 14 day trial and, and, and again, you're not going to have time to even mess with it. So if anything, I can, I can do all that stuff for you. That's, that's, that's not even a problem for me. That's what I do. Um, so write that down. So hundred bucks a month for that. If we go that route and then, and then where you want to start with Facebook ads is at least, at least a minimum of 10 bucks a day, which call it 300 a month. If you were spending 300 a month and getting four videos out per month, you would crush it, Dana. Like you would crush it. One do video we, per week. Do we still post these videos even on my personal page? No, you don't need Not to. My, like, personal, my I'm sorry, my business your page. Your business page. You don't need to. We can. Like we could post it there and then run a Facebook ad. Or we could just run a Facebook video ad behind the scenes and not even have it on the business page. Okay. 
So that's, that's kind of preference. I normally put them on the business page. Um, and the only reason for it is because once the ad is off, it remains on the page and people can, can see it. You know, yeah, so I would like that for that reason. Also my business page feeds to my website. So occasionally people do go on my website. I'll yeah. Get notice it so i mean why not kill two birds with one exactly story? exactly that's how i look at it so I'll, I'll always put that that ad on the business page first and and to give you an example here is actually a client of mine where that's exactly what we do we we run weekly ads and um they're on her business page and when the ad is off it remains on her page okay. so so there's actually quite a few videos where they were all in the in the past but they remain and they're already turned off, but they remain on her page. Like this was August 25th. So all she's doing in her case, look, she's running a video. This is a two minute video. She's educating people on what it takes to sell. And then there's the learn more button. Okay. okay. So, and then here goes another one and, and she's keeping it simple in her home office and just, just, it's just, it's just a, a quick little two minute tip on selling. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what she's doing. That's all she's doing. And then, and then these are ads, but they're also posted on her page. And so there's another one. And then again, when I click on learn more, she's taking me straight to her landing page where I can download her seller guide. Okay. And I did all this for her, by the way, that's why it looks the same, just like the other one. Right. But, but, um, it, it, I mean, it's, it's either or. So in her case, she's spending, yeah, I think she's spending about 10 bucks a day. She's spending, in her case also, she said, David, just teach me how to do it and I'll, and I'll do these ads myself. So that's her, in, you know, that's her, you're, you, you'd be, I'd be doing them for you. But in her case, I just simply coached her on how to run these Facebook ads, how to build these landing pages. And now she's off to the races, right. but, but she's staying consistent and she's running, she's running videos every week. And so 300 a month is where she'll be at just on, on the Facebook ad side. Okay, let me just point out something. Is she with Keller Williams? She is. Okay, they brag so much about all their landing pages. I yep. I I went over there for a year and I wasn't sure what I was paying twenty one thousand for. <laughs> right, and 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 I don't think she's doing that because this is this is a completely different system. This is a, this is the landing pages that I recommend. Yeah. So she's yeah. not even using KW. Mm -hmm. She's not even using whatever they have in place or command or whatever they have in place. Like she's yeah. not even using that. Yep. Mm -hmm. She's not even using that. Okay. So she's building all of her, she's keeping it simple. Facebook let ad, ask, landing pages. Let me ask you this. So the software where they capture the leads, mm -hmm. can we use Zapier? Cause they have Zapier. There's no need for it. You don't even need it. Cancel it. Okay. Well, I have it where it's talking to all of them. So all, all addresses get put into my one CRM. CRM. You, you can, I mean, I guess you can, like we, we can, yeah, we can. I mean, if you, if you're already using it and you're already paying for it and you're, you're fine paying for it. Yeah. We can connect it to this software. In fact, it's let me show you. Right now. Much. I just figured then I could also be sending them the monthly newsletter, which is yes. nothing more than what's the market like, how many homes were there, how many sold, what's the average price, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The is software integrates with Zapier. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So it's right here. So all I got to do is click on this and then, and then integrate it. Okay. Perfect. So that would talk with your current CRM. So you'll have, you'll have this as a, this is not this, it is a CRM because it hosts, it hosts the list, it hosts the leads, it emails the leads. Um, but at the same time, if you already have something like that, then Zapier is needed. Yeah. Zapier can be connected and it can go, it can go to wherever you want. Well, and this may be a better system than what I have. I only pay $300. It's wise agent. I just pay $300 a month, a year. Okay. It, it's, it's not that great. Okay. So yeah, time to, I mean, that's why if, what, if whatever you have in place is, is working, then I guess keep it. And if the overhead, the expense on it is not that much and it's not a problem for you, then, then I guess keep it. But, but it, I mean, again, it may sound super biased, but I'm just so convinced that all a person needs today is Facebook ads and this one system. Like that's it. Like there's nothing else needed. Well, and that may be something when January rolls around and have a little more free time, I can do, 
take all of my leads, put them in this. And then next oh, yeah. year, I think, you know, I, I, I just paid for it again in May or June. So yeah. I'll have it for another year. So before that comes around, then I can just um, do away with it, you mm -hmm. know, because mm -hmm. it's not a great system. It's just a system. Mm -hmm. So then what yeah. would you say your pain right now, like just overall, like for marketing, like, do you have a consistent monthly like, no, I don't at all. I'm a hundred percent referral. Um, I used to pay $300 a month and I bought buyer leads from realtor.com and I did well, um, mm -hmm. built my entire business on that. Mm -hmm. Um, I, for the last two years, I haven't, um, I had a team, I tried to buy stuff. So I spent like $500 a month, nothing, mm -hmm. nothing, nothing worked because no one worked the leads. You have to work the leads if you're, um, but I, I decided to move away from Keller Williams, move away from running a team and just go back to me. Mm -hmm. And so I've been doing that a year, a year and two months or something. And um, I'm just a hundred percent referral. So other than marketing my properties, when they go live, mm -hmm. you know, plan for drones and video and that kind of stuff. I don't so then what would you say you're, you're where, so where are you at now? Like where, if we're jumping into landing pages and, and considering Facebook ads, like what could a budget be like monthly? Like, because um, yeah, I just no. want to work with you. Like I want to start small. Like if we need to, like, I don't want to just throw a price out there and just completely, you know, shell shock you. I want right. to, I want to see where your budget's at to make everything comfortable for you. Yeah. I, I will tell you just right now I'm all on a tight budget, but um, that has, even though I'm, have eight closings my mm -hmm. bank account was drained the other day um so mm -hmm. i'm building a house <laughs> awesome. I, I don't know if i told you that uh no. i had a builder gone bad five years uh, ago oh, so man. it's i've been paying two mortgages uh for the last mm. five years and so um, uh. and this this sweet builder is wonderful but he forgot to put things like kitchen cabinets and oh my gosh tile in the bed oh my <laughs> <laughs> so yeah uh -huh. um, anyway long story short i'm going to be out of pocket a lot so um 400's like pushing it a little but i would be willing to do that but i know then i've got to pay for you too so help me understand what the price is and we'll we'll see if not this month maybe i i would like to start it though this month because i really want to start targeting listings because this drive in people around and putting eight offers in is killing me, David. Yeah, I bet. I bet like you. So then would, would maybe teaching you how to do it Would that, would that maybe work rather than having to pay for me monthly? I just, I know I don't have the time to do yeah, it. That's yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, there's 114 hours means I have no clean clothes. I have, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my house is a hot mess, mm -hmm. you know, all, all the, so things like I've decided to do away with having someone help clean my house just so I could maybe do something more like this. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I don't know how much you are a month. It's a ton of good stuff to talk about, you know? Well, yeah. And I just, now are you only always doing the seller guide or are you always do, also doing things like, um, cause I think Visbos, Visbos people think I can make the money, but then when they start seeing like how much work's involved, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, that's a talking point right there. That's a good video right there, Dana. Like that's yeah. a video. So I, I thought that, like I said, what you should know about a, a realtor before you hire them. Most mm -hmm. people don't even realize you need to interview people. I don't really want you to interview others. I want you to hire me, but you know, people just grab the first person. I'm like, See, that, see and, and you couldn't have said that any better. When it comes to anything, 99% of people don't know anything. Yeah. So that's why when you're over here concerned about what the heck do I talk about, you could talk about freaking anything. Yeah. And whatever the hell you're talking about is going gonna, is gonna to bring value to the end consumer because 99% of them don't even know that. Right. So yeah. you don't have to beat yourself up on what the heck to talk about. You already know what to talk about. Anything you talk about is going to bring value to the consumer. Okay. Anything like you could talk about anything. And these are short videos. Yeah. I even see just doing it in some of my listings beforehand. Heck know? yeah. Um, Heck yeah. Showing that, you know, what you should do or, 
what you shouldn't do. <laughs> Both. I'm telling you, Dana, that's, the, that's all you talk about. One minute videos. And then at the end, you're offering them something to download. Okay. That is it. Like that is it. And it's, and, and, and it's not even daily. It's one video per week that okay. we're running as a Facebook ad daily. Okay. So, right. so that part is that part. I, I just, I just totally know you, you, you just, you, you would crush it. Like you, and, and, and it has nothing to do with how you look. It has nothing to do with your hair, your makeup being done that day, your nails, none okay. of that, none of that stuff matter. David, you could be sitting at home giving this tips. That is one thing I, I say constantly because I'm tired. I'm real tired. So half the time I go to an appointment like this, I'm like, hi, I'm Dana. I'm your realtor. <laughs> and I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, how do people buy from me other than I really know my stuff, you know? <laughs> I'm telling you, that's all it takes. Like if you were to do that on video, people are going to be like, hey, she's just like me. I like that gal. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, that's what it takes. Too many times realtors because i come from mortgages and i know how it is where all of us want to look our best i used to go to the office every day in an expensive suit when right. knowing damn well i was broke right so it's like we always want to look our best and it's like right like look good no good broke right and it's like it's like realtors are the same way everyone wants to walk around with their louis vuitton bag and pull up in their seven series bmw and it's like mm -hmm. man you don't need to be doing that in video, like yeah. dumb it down, relate to the end consumer. Unless you're, unless you're focused on high professionals and, 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 and people who are making six and seven figures and you're selling multi-million dollar homes. Okay. That's different. Like if you're on right. million dollar listing and you're selling homes in Beverly Hills, okay, whatever, I get it. But, but if you're not, and we're dealing with 300, 400, $500,000 price points, these are normal people. Yeah. Dumb now, it down. And you're probably going to see me a lot in dog parks. Because uh, Dana, yes. Logo. That, that right there. You're do you understand that you're gonna relate to the dog lover and that's your next client. And that we're we have been the number one dog friendly city in the nation since two thousand five. See that right there, you put yourself around that, you put your brand around that, you do that, you put your dog in your videos. It's like I'm telling you, and that's why everything that I'm saying, the reason why I love focusing on real estate agents and I have a passion is because of your ROI. Everything that I'm saying, if we just got one extra deal a month from everything I'm saying, it's worth it. Yeah. You know, that, that's why I'm so convinced that every realtor needs to be running ads. It, it's pennies compared to your, your ROI and, it, and it's pennies compared to anything else we could be doing offline. So let me ask you this. How long do you think it takes to get a return on investment? We, we, we would be seeing something the first month, okay. like the first month we'd be capturing leads the okay. first month. Like, and, and that, that's, I mean, and again, it's a strategy. It's, it's, it's educating them on the front end via video. And okay. then it's giving them something away for free on the back end. Right. And then that email automation to nurture that list that keeps you top of mind. That gets people wanting to deal with you, wanting to work with you, wanting to like you and know you and trust you. Right. You know, and, and when this person is targeting me and they live right down the street and I keep seeing her in video in my news feed and all she's doing it is educating me on real estate. She's not selling me. She's not pitching me. She's educating me. Right. That's a different approach. You know, right. and, 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 and when you're and that's why when you're dealing with paid ads, you're dealing with thousands of people a day seeing you. That's where the odds work in our favor. Because if I have a thousand people that see this per day and just had a quarter percent actually reply, that's what I'm saying, like the numbers, those numbers are, don't exist when it's just organic, when, when we're just posting on social media. The numbers are not in our favor. It's when I run a Facebook ad where I can get the numbers in my favor, right. where thousands of people can see it. And if only a couple actually inquire, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Right, because now the odds are in my favor. A thousand people see it, but ten people inquired. I'll take those numbers all day, and that's a lot of people, Dana. You you're telling me a thousand people saw this, but only ten people clicked your button. I'm fine with that. Ten people a day, fifty people a week, sixty people a week are now on my email list. Out of these sixty people a week that are getting my emails, let's just say five percent are actually scheduling appointments with me, and I can keep that up weekly, like. That's, that's where the numbers work in our favor because now we're dealing with big numbers and how are we even getting big numbers? Cause we're running an ad. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and if I could get five appointments, I'm usually my numbers were I oh. haven't got my numbers in a while, but I was I was at a um eighty nine to ninety two percent close rate. I bet. I bet. We we just gotta fill the pipeline. We just gotta target the right area. Bring so value. Do I to do the zip codes that I want? Yeah. Yeah. Or or the or the county or this or the town or the city. Okay. So if we were if we were just focused on let's see where do you have it listed here? Are we just focused on Colorado Springs? Yeah, Colorado Springs. My my preferred zip codes are eight hundred nine hundred seven and eight hundred nine hundred six. I live in eight hundred and right now I live in both, but eight hundred nine hundred six is my where I'm building. So what if we just as far as the targeting? What if we just put in Colorado Springs? I'm fine with that. See, that's it. Let's brand let's brand you in the entire city of Colorado Springs. Okay. And that's it. Keep it that simple. One video per week. We're giving away a seller guide. We're educating people on what it takes to sell. And that's it. Okay. Like that. Um, I do. I do. I want to try it at least six months, you know, because I don't feel like you can judge something based on a month. I, I'm Gosh, hopefully I love gonna you, Dana. Return, Gosh, but... I freaking love you. <laughs> you know how hard it is for me to convince people, hey, you can't just judge it on 30 days. We got to run this. We got to be consistent. Gosh, man, I wish everyone thought like you. No, I, it, I know from experience, you've got to give it at least six months. But if it doesn't, if you're not getting something in, because Realtor.com didn't kick off the first month, you know. Yeah. Um, so I've got to give it at least six months, but I wouldn't be able to start until my closing on the 18th. I have That's three fine. Clothes. I have three closings that day. Um, awesome. So hopefully I'll be able to start them. <laughs> awesome. Really? Um, cool. Let's do it then. But yeah. Okay. So what's the next step, David? It's really just, so I guess we'll start then. I mean, it's, it's just, it's setting up, it's setting up everything. First of all, like I'll, all I need to do is, is regain access to your account and then yeah. I'll run the ads from your account. Um, okay. And then, and then I'll set up the whole Facebook ad site. There's a ton and I can always like, we can always be on. And that's why when I say that there's a ton, sometimes people don't believe me, but what I always offer is let's jump on the call and I'll walk you through everything I'm going to do. It's a freaking ton, you know? So, so step one is just getting reconnected with your, with your, with your business account, with your ads manager, your Facebook ads manager, and then setting everything up in there. There's seven steps. There's seven specific steps that need to be set up in your ads manager before we even run the ad. Um, that'd be step one. And then step two is getting the landing pages up. Um, that would be the next step. And then, and then that's it. And then, and then we just have the, and then, and then now the ball is in your court just to start doing one simple video per week. Okay. And, and the first video, what I would recommend, that. what's that? I said, you're going to send me that. <laughs> yes. Yes, I will. But the first video, what I want to kind of just plant in your mind is an intro video. That's the first video we want to roll out. Let's introduce ourselves to Colorado Springs. That's a simple video you can do selfie style on your cell phone. Hey guys, this is Dana. Just wanted to introduce myself. I know there's a lot of folks out here that may not know me. Um, just want to give you a little background of where I'm coming from, my passion in real estate and how long I've been doing what I do and, and why I love helping people sell, buy and sell real estate in the Colorado Springs area. That's a simple two minute video where you're talking about, like you're getting personal. Talk about your family, talk about your background, talk about your experience, talk about why real estate, talk about your love for dogs. This is a simple intro of who the heck you are. And that's week one. We take that video, we run it and get thousands of people in Colorado Springs to see it. We're opening up to the city via just introducing ourselves. And then week two, we start talking about selling tips. Perfect. So, so it's that, it's that simple. And, and that's why I just know that most don't kill it. Most don't crush it is because most don't stay consistent with a weekly video. That is the strategy, a weekly video. Okay. If you can get that out every week, if you can say, hey, David, got a new video out, that's all I need from you. I will literally take care of everything else. Okay, perfect. And then um, as far as making every, I know we've got to wait till we're under contract with one another, but you can take, like if I sent you my logo and then mm -hmm, an mm -hmm. example of what I've done on cards and things in the past, you can mm -hmm. emulate that. Oh um, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you can look on here and see, I have a picture somewhere of my for sale sign. 
that's what it all looks like. It's got an orange and white. And oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I could take all those images and then, and then have a seller guide rebranded to you and, okay. and, and then even put those logos on the, on the actual landing page. So okay. yeah, all that stuff, that's simple. I can, I, that's, that's what I'd be doing for you. Okay. Yeah. So I don't, I don't take on many monthly clients. So you'll have like all my time, like where I'm at with my business now is, is, is just coaching people how to do it themselves. But then there's a handful of agents that I come across just like you who are already busy as busy and rather, and rather just delegate it, you know? So, so I have a handful of you and that's all I'm really looking to take on this year. So you have all my time. You have all my time and, and I'm focused on, on just you. Okay. Perfect. Well, I sure appreciate it. Yeah. I, like I said, I, when we talked during COVID, I knew this was something I needed and unfortunately just are right before COVID. So, mm -hmm. but just to dump a whole lot in that silly mm -hmm. website. It looks good though. <laughs> is it, is it, is yeah, it you have to, yeah. Check it out. Bigdogagent.com. Bigdogagent.com. Perfect. Awesome. I love the color. Okay, cool. See, so, so yeah, full blown website and that, and that's cool. See, here's the deal. After we capture the lead and that email automation kicks in, then we'll provide links to this. Yeah. Hey, John, thank you so much for downloading my seller guide two days ago. Hey, take a look at my website. We just put it together. You're going to find a lot of great information on it. Blah, blah, blah. Perfect. Then we send them to the website after we've already captured the lead. Perfect. Right. And, and the only reason why you don't run a Facebook ad to this page or to any website is because although it is pretty, although it has all the bells and whistles, that's the problem is the fact that it's too pretty. It's there's too much going on. And if I'm paying for someone to click, cause that's all a Facebook ad is, is as a Facebook ad runs, that's what we're paying for. We're paying to get people to click just like this right. guy right here, Tanner sponsored. There's the text. There's a video. He's literally paying to get me to watch it. He's paying to get me to click. So if, if I'm paying to get someone to do that and I bring them, look, everyone, nine out of 10 will take you to one single page. This is one page. Right. So he's taking me to one page where there's only one button to click on. Right. Versus if I paid to get someone here, there's so many bad. <laughs> There's so much. And before you know it, they're clicking on this, they're clicking on sell a home, they're clicking on resources. Maybe and they're I over don't here. Have their information. And you don't have their information. <laughs> and before you know it, they're over here looking at this. And before you know it, food is burning on the stove. The babies are crying. I got to go. Yeah. Right. So I send them there after we've captured the lead. Perfect. You know? So yeah, every, every lead's going to see your website because they'll get a link in the, in the email automation. Okay. But again, that's something that I'll easily set up for you is the email automation and, and all that stuff. Okay. So let's chat. Let's, should we chat on the 19th or the 18th? I mean, I know you got closed on the 18th. Should we just chat the next day? Because I have three of them back to back. So the 19th would be the best. Perfect. What day is that? That's the, um, let's check that out. I don't know. That is Saturday. We can always chat. We can always oh, chat Monday the 21st. Let's do that. Let's do that. Monday? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. I'll send you a calendar reminder. And what time What time is good? Same time? Uh, yeah. That's, that's, we could even do it earlier. Um, earlier is usually a little bit better. So I don't know, okay. 9, 10, my time. I know you're an hour behind me. So No, I'm up with the roosters. Like I can be up as early as you yeah, need you to. Yeah, you responded and it was like 5.50 my time when I messaged you. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, Dana, I just had a, well, my, not me, but my wife, She we just had a little baby boy and I haven't slept in two and a half months. So I'm up at crazy hours. I'm up changing diapers at 2 a.m. Like I haven't slept. So yeah. <laughs> that's why, that's why you, you got that, that early uh, message. I was, I was like, oh, I thought it was just Facebook in him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. So uh -huh. I'll put us down for early. I'll just put us down for how's, um, I don't know, how's 8 a.m., 9 a.m. your time? Let's do 9 a.m. my time. Perfect. Okay. I'll send you, a, I'll send you a calendar reminder and, and we'll chat then. Um, 
in the meantime, in the meantime, work on that intro video. Okay. We'll work do. on that intro video. And then, and then we'll start, we'll start everything on the 21st. I'll call okay. you or we'll jump back on zoom on the 21st. Perfect. All right, David. Thanks so okay, much Dana, for talking to you. You're yeah. so, so welcome. Chat soon. Okay. Bye-bye.